and we're back at it like a bad habit chat red nation in the cut man how you guys do it man it's been a while since the uh the last time i dropped a what's that build video and uh today i have a special treat because we're working on a point guard build and i think you guys are thoroughly going to enjoy this build um it brings something different something new uh just a great experience for the game all right and i think i think seeing more builds like this on the court will 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 kind of change things mix things up all right so let's dive into it position point guard right or left hand it doesn't matter and whatever jersey number you want okay all right so if you look up the skill breakdown you're going to go down one two it's going to be the second pie chart all right now this pie chart is extremely important to get the build please do not try to make this on another pie chart because you may not the attributes may not be the same obviously i know i've had people ask me before oh i found the pie chart similar but it doesn't give you the same name so like we're going to the name here all right so uh the first thing that we're going to do all right we're going to put one one singular point right into post control okay don't worry, don't worry about it, guys. Trust the process. All right, and then we're gonna go max. Uh, we're gonna max close shot and uh, driving layup, but you're only gonna bring it down by two. So in total, it should be an 87 close shot and then an 89 driving layup. Now, mind you, you're still going to get your 90 driving layup uh, at 96 overall, right? So you'll be able to get all of those cool ass driving layup packages that exist. All right. Uh, what's important here is you're going to max your driving dunk. All right, and then you're kind of done in this category. You won't need to put any more points inside of finishing. So just looking already, you already can tell that you're going to get contact dunks at. Uh, you're already going to get contact dunks at at 99 overall because you you'll get an 85 drive and you have 16 finishing badges that go to Hall of Fame. It's 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 a it's a good way to play it. All right. Next up, we got a mid range. 81 mid-range. You're shooting an 81 mid-range on this build. There's literally nothing you can't do. All right, a 79 three-pointer. Now, before you guys freak out, trust me, I'm going to get this three-pointer higher. All right. So next, we're going to do is we're going to grab this free throw. All right, and then we're going to put we're going to put the one point in the post fade. Right, and then we're going to max pass accuracy and ball handle because we need both of those. All right, it's extremely important that you have it this way, right? Because you want the 16, 16, 13, and then the, the defensive. But something that you can do that's really cool, put an extra point into post control, get it to 35. That way you get an additional playmaking badge, okay? All right, next what we're going to do, we're going to put two points into interior defense. We're going to max perimeter and lateral quickness, and we're going to max out steel. All right, all of these are important. Please max all of them. We're going to get our block to a 46. All right. Now, if you do not want to invest these points in the block and you just want to go defensive rebound and get five defensive badges, perfectly fine, right? You may not get the name, but the build will be the same. It's up to you as a preference, especially because I know some of you guards do not like to pick up block. Um, if you don't want it, then don't take it. Spend those points elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I'm maximizing the build and the efficiency of the build, especially defensively because you don't want to be a slouch, all right? So, for what, what I'm going to do, 46. And the reason why 46, 76, any of those sixes that you see that, I've, uh, that I put onto the build, when you, have, when you have that, it brings you to a new bracket. So, the game does everything in increments of 10. So, uh, what I mean by that is, like, if you have a 89 three-pointer, you're going to have an 83 ball window. It doesn't round up. So, if you have an 89 three, you're going to have an 80 green window. But as soon as you reach 90, you will have a 90 green window. And vice versa. So, if you have, let's say I have right now currently a 79 three ball. Okay? Right now. As right now, I have a 79 three ball. It's not going to say, it's not going to give me the 80... The 83 ball window is going to give me the 73 ball window. The the additional points do not matter at all. All right, they don't matter. They don't do anything for the game unless it's contact dunks, which is 85. That's the only exception to that rule because you unlock it at 85. But other than that, it doesn't matter. Those increments of 10 work for all of the rest of the stats exactly the same. So having a 46 block means you have a 40 block, right? So you get the foot like whatever that, whatever that like premise to what a blocks are 
whatever that window is for blocks to make sure you get good blocks animations in that 40 category. But because at 99, that brings it up to a 50, you're now in a different bracket without having to waste your badges to try to dump stat something that you really don't want. Does that make sense? Okay, anyway. Moving on. So this is what the build will look like as far as like spending points, okay? We have 16 finishing, 16 shooting, 14 playmaking, and 6 defensive rebound. All right. Now, I've seen a couple of playmaking shot creators that have a decent amount of badges, but it don't look like this. All right. And like if you're skilled enough, in which I know most of you are because you play this constantly, this is definitely enough for you to go crazy and just annihilate people. All right. Now, uh, for body shapes, do not worry about body shapes. You can choose whatever you want. I'm going to go built. All right. And I'm going to tell you why. I want to make sure that I'm getting as much contact as possible because especially this year, it's incredibly hard to stop people from going into the paint. So the, the larger your frame, the more likely you are to get a contact. Now, I know that they say it doesn't have any mechanical differences, but 2K be lying, bro. I swear it does. I swear it does. You can even go burly. You can even go burly. Like, I feel like that's too much, though. But built is fine. Okay? So for your height, what you're looking at for your height is really easy. You're going to bring this guy up to 6'5". All right? No debate. Please do not argue with me. I got a plan. All right? <laughs> All right, so you bring it to six foot five, right? And then your weight, you're going to put at 211, okay? 211 is the weight. I know, oh, red, minimum weight, red, minimum weight, so we can get the 90 speed and 99. No, 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 because here's what's going to happen, right? You bring it up to 211, right? You make sure you do your Gatorade or have your gym rat boost. That's plus four. That brings you to 87, 99 overall. That still gets a 90 speed. Stop playing with me, chat. All right, stop playing with me. You don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. You want it. This right here, this right here is going to make you a different breed. It gives you that strength, right? But that doesn't matter because strength is really not even that important this year. But you, um, you get the name, which is the whole point of that What's That Build video. Cool ass names with a good ass build. That's what you get with Red Nation. You can quote it. All right. So anyway, wait 211. All right. Now, wingspan. Here's where things get really, really interesting. All right. So if you wanted to have... If you wanted to have just like a more dominant, like you don't mind shooting with like a 73 ball as a point guard, because I know some of you don't, right? Go 86 wingspan, right? N no higher than that, please. Um, it, it's max, like like it's OD. You could you could also go 85.1, but I think it gives you a different name. So that 86.0 wingspan is going to call you. Oh, no, before we get before we get into that, um, there are multiple names you can get with this build by changing your wingspan. Keep the weight the same, multiple different names. You minimum the weight, right? It'll call you something different, all right? You get somewhere in the middle, like right here. This will call you, so right here, this will call you a offensive threat, which I'll show you right now, right? If you minimum your weight and anywhere in between, you can test it. But you see, you'll get an offensive threat, all right? And they're all shades of lamello ball, no matter how you do it, all right? So you get an offensive threat like that, right? If you increase your wingspan, Here's where things get really interesting. If you increase your wingspan, right? Uh, I don't think 85.1 gets it, but let's test it. If you increase your wingspan, yeah, see, it calls you a facilitating finisher, right? But we've seen that before. That's trash. We don't want that name. But watch this. Max your wingspan. Max your wingspan, right? They're going to call you... <laughs> it's really cool. Long-ass name. They're going to call you a two-way facilitating finisher. Stop fucking playing with us, chat. You know we come in here with the violence, all right? So going back to the edit build, right? The, the most efficient way, right, other than, like, playing around with this, the most efficient way to do this build, right, is a 79.7, okay? And the reason why I say this, it's going to call you a facilitating finisher, all right? It will. But facilitating finishers do not have these attributes. They don't look like this, right? It's a common name, but they're not, it's not this build. It's kind of like me last year when I had an interior finisher, right? But he could shoot the three ball. He could post fade. He could kind of do everything, right? It's, this is a do everything build, but you have a common name. So it makes you special. They'll be like, damn, what type of facilitating finisher is that? You see what I'm saying? Like different, right? But as you can see, 83 ball, 80 drive, right? Off rip. And then you get to an 85 for your three. 85 doesn't matter, but you still get your contact dunks. That's what matters. You still get, you still get your great, great ass ball control. That, that matters. You know what I'm saying? You can still get your 90 speed. That matters. So, and like not even considering boost, right? At 99 overall, if you buy shooting boost, you're actually in the 90 bracket for shooting. 
You, you like like Red, Red Nation has thought of everything. All right, you don't even gotta do anything. Red Nation has figured it all out for you, man. All right. So we'll talk about the takeovers. Obviously, I spoiled them before. We're showing you the names of the builds, right? But I wanted you guys to see the difference, right? So getting into the takeovers, what I recommend. Okay, so there are only two takeovers that I recommend for this build. All right, you have your slashing takeover, right? Because obviously more contact dunks, but people will think that you can't shoot, right? This is kind of like a, a clickbait or like a, a catfish build, all right? So you... You can go slashing, get more contact dunks, and annihilate people when people think you can't shoot, right? Or you can go playmaking, right? And people still think that you're just a rim runner. But, this, but with playmaking, I feel like playmaking is slightly more valuable. Slightly. Because it can help your teammates shoot better. Which is just nice, right? It's just useful. You get playmaking takeover, you break ankles. Like, that's fun. Especially if you like to dribble. If you don't like to dribble, go slashing. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Why not take spot up take? Because people didn't know you can shoot, which defeats the purpose of the name of the build, right? You don't want people to know that. You want to stay as far away from that category as possible. But you could. You could do it, right? Um, you could grab it, but I would go playmaking or slashing. It doesn't matter. One or the other. They're both good, and they're going to call you a facilitating finisher. Now, that's the, that's the most elite way to make the build. Now, if you do not care about that, right, and you always plan on shooting with boost, this is what I would recommend. Max that wingspan, right? I, obviously, obviously, I know that you get a 75-3, right? You max the wingspan, right? You get the two-way facilitator name, and then you grab lockdown takeover. Yeah, because you can get lockdown take. So then you get locked down take, right? Six foot five. You max the wingspan. And they'll call you a two-way facilitator. All right, but here's the problem with this. If, if you want the two-way facilitator name, you have to buy shooting boost to make sure you stay in that 80 range for your three ball, right? And then at 99 overall, you'll slowly get to the, the 80 ball handle because you won't have it yet, which means you're in the 70 category for ball handle. But you have to have max wingspan to get the two-way name. So there you have it. If this video was helpful to you guys in any way, shape, or form, man, feel free to leave a like. If you made it all the way to the end, man, obviously, you know, you fuck with the video. You fuck with Red, man. Um, forgive me. I do have allergies, so uh, runny nose and stuff is, is kicking my ass today. But other than that, man, hopefully this build was helpful. And this has been your boy, Red Nation, man. Stay up. Stay blessed. Stay toxic. You heard me? God bless. Peace out.